We are inspired today with words from both Testaments. In the first, the prophet Isaiah speaks God's promises a renewed prosperity for the people of Israel. I am about to do a thing now. Thing now it is it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? It will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild animals will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches. For I give water to the, in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I form for myself, so that they might declare my praise. In the second reading, the Apostle Paul writes to the church at Philippi, I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you because of your sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. May this hearing of God's timeless word continue good work in each of us and gather at the body of Christ.
up front, please. Hi there. Hello. Oh, I gotta get this backpack off. So I've been camping. And I've had to carry this with me every place I went when I was camping. So it's it it was it was it was my family group back then. You been did you go to camp? Did you have a family group? Yeah. Yours was blue. Yeah. Well, we had a red one. It carried everything that we needed for our family group to be at camp. It's got a, it's got a, let's see, a flashlight in here, because we needed a point of light sometimes. And let's see, it's got a watch, because you can't have any technology at camp. So even the adults, instead of cell phones, we had to use actual watches. And <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I got a brick in here, huh? And I got a, I've got, I've got a first aid kit. Anybody need a band aid? Need a band aid? Okay, good. Phew. And I've got play doh. Hmm. Well, let's see here. A brick and play doh. So what do you do with a brick? You build it. All right. All right. What do you do with Play-Doh? You build things. <laughs> Not exactly the same way, though, huh? Why don't you take a piece of that? Just blot it up in your hand there. Roll it around. Yes. Here's one for you. Just roll it around and feel it. Can you do that with a brick? No. No. Hmm. So we're pretty limited with what we can make with a brick, right? We can make a building like this, but we need more than one. Good job. to our hand, take the shape of your hand, and it's kind of fun to play with Plato. And in the Bible, there are lots of places that God talks about <coughs> wanting to mold us. Can you mold a brick? No. No. So God wants us to be more like, like Plato. Especially in our hearts, where we love and where we care for other people. Because he can do things with Plato. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, though, things happen. And we kind of start in our, and we, have you ever had hard Plato? It dries out. And you can't do like this with it, some of the can you? But some, sometimes in life things happen, they kind of start drying us out. Maybe somebody that we really love dies. Maybe we get sick. And it kind of starts drying us out. Well, God is, is like the eternal humidifier. He wants us to stay moldable so that he can work with us. So keep the love in your heart and keep God in your heart so that, that he can continue to mold you and make you who he designed you to be. All right? I'll take the Play-Doh back because I'm sure the custodians are thinking, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Play-Doh on the 
carpet. Not always a good thing, but you guys were very good with your play on it. Good job, guys. So, let's take a hand. Have a prayer. <coughs> Lord God, I thank you for these children. And I thank you that you can mold us and can fix us no matter what happens. We ask that you help these children to know that you are with them always. That you can fix whatever it is that happens in their lives too. Help them to be faithful. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys.